Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 28th of February 1525, Cuauhtémoc, the last Aztec emperor, was executed on the orders of the Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés. Little is known of Cuauhtémoc's early life. By the time he was elected leader of Tenochtitlan in 1520, the Aztec city-state had already been invaded by the Spanish and had experienced the successive deaths of Moctezuma II and his brother Cuitlahuac. The new ruler attempted to defend the city against the continued Spanish attacks, but was captured on the 13th of August 1521 while trying to escape. Cuauhtémoc surrendered to Cortés and was spared. Contemporary sources claim that the conquistador initially treated his captive with respect, but, having failed to find large quantities of gold in the city, later tortured Cuauhtémoc by covering his feet in oil and placing them over a fire. Despite his ordeal, Cuauhtémoc allegedly refused to give away the location of his treasures, although a small amount of gold was later found in the house of a noble. Having survived his torture, Cuauhtémoc was allowed to keep his royal title, but was stripped of his sovereign powers. In 1525, when Cortés undertook an expedition to Honduras, he took Cuauhtémoc with him. Some commentators suggest that this is because he was concerned the former emperor might lead a revolt in his absence. While they were away, Cortés was informed of a rumour that Cuauhtémoc was conspiring to kill him. He ordered him to be hanged on the 28th of February, alongside other nobles. Cuauhtémoc, which means one who swoops down like an eagle, continues to be highly regarded in modern-day Mexico as the only Aztec emperor to have survived the Spanish conquest.